Now let us see what is a standard hydrogen electrode. Usually if we want to like you know find the potential of a cell, there should be two half cells, okay. Individual half cell, for an individual half cell we cannot find the potential. Suppose we want to find the individual potential of one half cell, then it should be connected to some standard value. For that only we use the standard hydrogen electrode. Let us see some properties of that, okay. It is considered as a reference electrode as per IUPAC, okay. It can add both as a cathode and an anode half cell and it is a gas ion electrode like you know gas H2 gas H plus. So, it is a gas ion electrode and the main point here is both reduction potential. So, what is the reduction potential? E naught of H plus by H2 and the oxidation potential that is E naught H2 H plus both of them are equal to 0, I can say like this, okay. So, for this we can assume that both reduction and the oxidation potential is 0, okay. Now, let us see the construction. So, here you have a glass cell, okay. So, we have a platinum electrode. So, this platinum electrode is supposed to be an inert electrode which does not take part in the rea in reaction. So, here in the bottom you have a platinum foil and pure hydrogen gas will be passed okay through this uh, like you know uh, inlet and it is uh, you know it has to be maintained at one atmospheric pressure and the, as I told you it is an equilibrium with a uh, like you know uh, solution. So, we take HCl solution where the H plus ion concentration is 1 molar okay. So, we can write the representation of this cell as platinum solid H2 H plus. Okay, so, this is a representation. So, when we connect this to any half cell, okay, we can find the potential of that because for this we have kept it as 0, right. So, like when we connect it, as I told you, we consider this as 0 and the next other half cell potential can be easily determined at any temperature. So, as I have already told you, both the oxidation potential and reduction potential is taken as 0. Let us see the reactions involved in it. So, if we take this, uh, the anode half cell, okay, if we take the standard hydrogen electrode as anode half cell, the reaction is H2 will become 2H plus plus 2 electron, okay, giving you 2 electron. How will you represent this? This will be platinum, okay. So, H2, just write. H2 H plus okay. So, this is gas and the concentration of this is usually we take it in molarity that is 1 molar okay and the platinum electrode. So, now this is your oxidation half cell. So, the potential that is E naught okay. So, oxidation potential will be H2 by H plus will be equal to 0. So, this is what we assume for oxidation potential. In case we take the cathode half cell, we use the standard hydrogen electrode as a cathode half cell, then this is the uh, reaction involved, 2 H plus taking 2 electron will get reduced to H2, okay. So, here the representation would be platinum H plus H2 gas, right. So, this is your gas, again the concentration is 1 molar. Now, how do like the potential will be the standard that is why you put E naught, okay. So, standard reduction potential would be H plus H2, this is your H plus will be again assumed as 0. So, this is your standard oxidation potential and this is your standard reduction potential. So, both are considered as 0 when we use a standard hydrogen electrode. Let us now see a problem related to the standard electro hydrogen electrode. Here the question is find the electrode potential for an electrode which is in contact with a solution of pH at 25 degrees Celsius. That means a electrode is in contact with a solution of pH 10. So, we know that the equation could, can write for the hydrogen electrode as 2H plus plus 2 electron because it is a solution of pH 10, okay. Now, we know the relation that pH is equal to minus log of H plus, right. So, now and what is given? Given is pH is equal to 10. 
So, we can rewrite this as the H plus concentration would be equal to 10 power minus 10 m. Now, the reaction, the equation for this is the representation of the cell is platinum H2 gas. So, we know this is at one atmospheric pressure which is in contact with a H plus solution aqueous. So, this the concentration of this H plus is only given as 10 uh, pH 10. So, we can write it as 10 power minus 10 m. Okay. Now, we have to apply the Nernst equation to calculate the electrode potential. So, what is the Nernst equation? E is equal to E naught of H2 H plus minus 0 0.059 divided by 2 log of the product is H plus. So, there are 2, so square divided by H2 gas pressure. Okay. Now, here we have to substitute the concentration of H plus and here we have to take the pressure of hydrogen as 1 atmospheric pressure. Okay. Let us now substitute and we know here that E naught H2 by H plus we have taken for standard hydrogen electrode as 0. Here I have substituted 2 because there are 2 electrons transferred. So, this is equal to 0 minus 0 0.059 divided by 2 log of 10 power minus 10 the whole square divided by 1. Okay. So, now if we calculate this, it will be 0 minus 0 0.059 divided by 2. So, if we calculate this log of this will be minus 20. So, this will be minus 10. So, this will if we calculate this, the value of E will be equal to 0 0.59 moles. Okay. E of what? H2 by H plus. So, this is the potential which we have to calculate. Now, the use of standard hydrogen electrode is to find, to find the electrode potential or the standard electrode potential, electrode potential of any element. Okay. Always never do that like you know never calculate the absolute value always calculate the like you know relative value relative potential. Now, this relative potential can, we can calculate only with uh, like you know with, by keeping the standard hydrogen electrode as a reference. Okay. So, do this always. Now, I will just give you a, a setup where we can find the electrode potential of any given element. Okay. So, now I have made a setup where we have an anode and a cathode. Here in this case, I have made cathode as your platinum electrode, there is a standard hydrogen electrode. So, we have the concentration here of H plus is equal to 1 m and you know through this we have passed hydrogen gas at 1 atmospheric pressure. Okay, so, this is your standard hydrogen electrode where reduction will take place. So, what is the reduction? Basically, H plus ions can take electron and form H2 gas. Okay. Here, I will tell you how this two electron came. Here, what I have done is I have taken zinc electrode okay, and I have dipped this electrode in a zinc sulphate solution and the concentration of this is 1 molar. That means, I am also finding the standard electrode potential of zinc. Okay. So, here the oxidation will take place. So, zinc will form zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons. So, this electron will be taken up by the hydrogen here in the platinum uh, electrode. Fine. So, this is the setup. Now, how do we find the electrode potential, the standard electrode potential of zinc is the question. So, now what we do is we know the reaction, these two reaction. So, now E naught cell okay, can be, I have already told you E cathode minus E anode or E right minus E left which we have already discussed. So, here let us say this is some x volts. When we connect this, I have got some potential that is some x volts. Okay. So, here E cell E that is E naught cell will be equal to as I have told you E naught cathode minus E naught anode. Okay. Both we are going to take the reduction potential, please remember that. Okay. Now, the x volt whatever I found out, so x will be equal to E naught, so cathode will be E naught. H plus by H2 minus E naught Z and 2 plus by zinc. 
and we know this is equal to 0. So, and the value what the potential what we got was found to be 0 0.76 volt. Okay. Now, we know this is equal to 0 minus of E naught Zn2 plus by Zn. Okay. So, now once I have already uh, I could get this value by using the reference electrode. Now, we can also find the standard electrode potential that is for zinc. So, we can write it as E naught Zn2 plus by Zn will be equal to. So, if I do this, so this will be minus 0 0.76 volt. This is what you will see in your textbook. So, they would have given you the list of standard reduction potential. So, you can see for zinc it will be 0 minus 0 0.76 volt.